today I'm gonna turn the silver that I found on Twitter into a skilled player in just one week. And here is how I'm gonna do it. I made a post on Twitter that I was searching for people who consider themselves hardstuck and need coaching. After I found a person I needed, we scheduled a one-week training plan that consisted of aim training, utility usage, map knowledge and of course using all of that in real games with my live coaching. And we're gonna see how much a silver can improve within a week of intense training. And one more thing, I recently got a permanent ban on Twitch for nothing, just when my numbers started growing, my dreams were ruined once again. But I don't want to give up because I still have big plans and ambitions for my streaming career. So if you're interested in watching me play, rage and catch cheaters in Premiere, make sure to subscribe to this channel and my kick channel where I'm gonna stream as much as possible. <laughs> now let's begin with the video. First let me introduce you to my student. His nickname is Nine Zox and he lives in Canada and I live in Russia and you can't even imagine how I enjoyed waking up at 4 or 5 in the morning to train him while it's evening for him. As far as I can see you tried maps but you never specifically followed like any routine you know like a specific training program right? No I just kind of was like I need to know some basic callouts and normal peaks and stuff like that so I can actually have a level advantage to people I'm playing against in comp. You said uh, what's your like highest rank lowest rank that just to repeat it you know for the video's sake in cs go yeah i was about silver two to silver three mm -hmm. and then i didn't really touch comp much beyond that until cs2 and cs2 i'm still unranked i've been just like loading up just normal comp games were premiere and i keep losing keep losing keep losing keep losing because either I'm, I'm sitting at the bad bottom of the leaderboard for doing bad peaks or bad timing or getting sandwiched just just really bad, really bad timing on my part. If you would choose one path to improve, will it be Premiere or will it be like comp on a specific map? Probably Premiere because I want to I want to be good at every single map uh -huh. so I can be flexible and be a good support yeah. for my team. Okay. Today's video partner is CSGO Fast. CSGO Fast is the most trusted website in the industry. CSGO Fast recently changed the design of the site which makes it way easier for you to find your favorite game modes. But today I will show you my favorite one, which is cases. You can choose a case for any price range you want and even open 5 of them at the same time. You can use all of the available payment methods and by using my promo code HIKES and the link in the description you will get a free case and a 10% deposit bonus. Thank you so much CSGOFAST for sponsoring this video and thanks a lot to you for watching the ad. On the first day I wanted to figure out how much of a basic CS knowledge he has and after talking for a little while I understood that he has a knowledge of a beginner CS player. To understand what I'm working with I gave him a couple of aiming exercises and after that I made a simple workout plan for him. Okay. That was a lot better. That was a lot better than the last mm -hmm. ones. Also I've noticed that his aim is kinda too shaky and we adjusted his sense a little bit because it was insanely high. <laughs> it's so slow. But you see, you're already following better. In the beginning I wanted him to learn three main bug maps, Mirage, Anubis and Ancient. But after I understood that my student is a complete beginner in this game, I made a decision to focus on only learning one map, which is Mirage. Starting with T-Side, we learned three essential smokes for window, top mid and connector. And I also explained in which situations you should use each smoke. Yes, but th this again, this is thrown for your team? Completely. Aha, uh -huh. not completely. I'm a moron, I guess. This one landed. Oh yeah, this one's perfect. Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah. After that, I started teaching him how to make individual impact as an A lurker that goes ramp or palace. I told him how to position his crosshair, how to avoid early nade damage and when to go out to search for kills. So his main goal for this first day was learning the basic smokes, focusing on crosshair placement in pit and A side and make some impact as an A player in his games. Oh, and he didn't know what a jump throw bind is, so I also gave it to him and after that we went into the game. Hold jungle like this. Yeah, just hold jungle. Just hold jungle. He's gonna peek. He's gonna peek. He's gonna be there. Nice. Nice. One CT with Ope. You can try to white swing him. You're way too exposed on it. Yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> nice. Nice, nice, nice. I so. He's in power. No, I was wrong, I was wrong. Hold like this. Nice. Either under palace or somewhere on default. It's the last guy. It's the last guy. He's there. He's there. Full trust. He saw, you see, you saw him on default. You saw him on default. You saw him on default. Yeah. Nice. There we go. Nice. Uh, stairs, 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 stairs. Get the Nico angle. Get the Nico angle. Nice. He might try to pick you from my side. From my side. Yeah. Nice. You see, two entries. You see, you opened A side. Exactly. Yeah. You didn't buy armor, but it's okay. So, 
just yeah, it's a, it's a faster, 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 faster. Call, call, it's a, call, it's a, call, it's a. You do call for your teammates. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hold like this. He's under you. Oh, it's okay. It's totally fine. We made some progress, and we already know what we can work on. First of all, your awareness and uh, your ability to adjust to the situation. You don't analyze. You don't look on a minimap yet. Like, uh, like you see how many times I had to call for you because you don't see what's happening, even though it's there. You you don't pay attention to it. Yeah. Day two started with me asking him about the games that he played without me. And we have also spotted another huge issue that we should focus on. As many beginner players, 9 Zox has some sort of a tunnel vision. Basically, when he plays, he doesn't look on the minimap, has troubles focusing on sounds, and because of that, his ability to receive information and adapt to it is super limited. That's why I decided to give him as much information as possible when I spectated him play. But before that, I showed him a few more tips to go out from a palace. I showed him why and when he should go palace, what should he do and where should he look in the process of doing that, and what should he mainly focus on if he wants to make maximum impact. You don't need to know a specific lineup when you go here and then you just like adjust it towards, I think it's... I think it's something... I, I, I don't even know the lineup myself. Another alternative that I gave him was going mid, but since there are so many options in mid, I mainly wanted him to focus on ramp and palace. After that we switched to city side, and you might say, Hikes, why didn't you show him anything on city side on the first day? You see, again, on the first day I gave him so much new information about aim practice, smokes and plays as a T, I just didn't want his head to explode from all the new stuff that he had to focus on. So on CD side I wanted him to learn how to play connector, because in the current Mirage meta this is the position that gives you the ability to make the most amount of individual plays as a rifler. After we learned the basic city utility and the best ways to cross the con according to your spawn, we went into the game where I tried to life coach him and correct his mistakes. Yep, the flash, the flash. No need to stop, no need to stop. You flash yourself, you miss flash, but it's okay. Keep holding, keep holding. Yep, you see, your teammate made a kill because of your flash. They were completely blind. Good job. B, I think. Yeah, yeah. You can start slow. No, okay, one's on A, one's on A. Out, 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 out. Yeah, on, on side, on side right there. Nice, good, very good. I think he either jumped window, he's under con. Nice. Under con, but just keep holding. You're gonna notice him in case. Okay, now you can go a little bit. You're unconcentrated. Go, go, go. Change position, maybe. Under con. Nice. One more. Under con. Stay like this. You could have killed easily. Could have. Oh my fuck. You easily could have killed the guy. Uh, but you're just like you were very unconcentrated on the guy on. Catwalk. Yeah, I was very, I was very, very mixed because I was worried about ammo and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Also, what I noticed is that you're reloading immediately after you shoot. You have 30 bullets, bro. You only need like three to kill a guy, max four. I don't think there's there are small people. He's not there. Yeah, nice. This is what this is the kills that I want you to do. You could have killed, made. You could have made this kill. You need to change position. After we make a kill, you need to change position. Yep. We talked about this. Right, 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 right. I forgot. On your right. Mhm. Mm nice. Uh, either city or. Yeah, con, 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 con. Just, just hold, just hold, just hold. Yeah. Nice. You see, very good angle. Yeah, good angle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not bad. Not bad. Some adjustments here. Yeah. yeah, I need to play more. Yeah, definitely. I, do, I definitely. just need to play more. That's all. It's a lot of help with like just like just like the extra call outs of like, oh hey, he's going to be here, because it's just like, oh yeah, I can use that into my game of, oh hey, there's a higher probability of something happening like this way. Exactly. But it's good. It's good. You made some impact, especially on A side and a few kills, important kills and con. So just keep doing that and don't try to in the algorithmical place. Don't try to overthink. Don't use your brain. It's all muscle memory. The brain, when you need to use, when the algorithm stops. Don't try to, like, overthink and just uh, try to adjust the situation as much as you can. But when you're doing the default things, don't think. That's why they're called default. It's just, like, algorithm and muscle memory. That's it. On day three, I asked him if he played any games without me. He told me that he did and that he started feeling his recoil control becoming more accurate. He became more confident in what he does and also he started using 5.7 and Deagle more often on 4s by rounds. He told me that using all the knowledge that I gave him is very difficult for him, but he tries his best. Also, while spectating him, I've noticed a huge problem that he has. If he holds a position, he just always stays at one place without moving. So I explained to him why it is so important to always counter strafe and be on a move. 
since I saw that it's way too difficult for him to start implementing all the stuff that I taught him previously, I decided to not torture him today with lots of boring theory and I just offered him to learn a city mid push if he has a good spawn as one of the alternatives to search for early kills. Also, I showed him how to use a connector smoke as cover and surprise people in underground. On T side, I taught him how to go B underground after throwing a mid smoke and after that we went into the game. On day 4, he told me that he started making impact as a solo player going pit, but he still has issues understanding on how to go out palace. So I explained it to him in more detail and decided to focus this day on more detailed life coaching. That's why we instantly went into the game. Jungle, go jungle, you can pick him now. Nice! Last is on B and he has the bomb. Nice. He could be under palace, he could be... still could be there. Stairs, pick, 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 stairs, pick stairs! Again, you hear your opponents fighting and you see two people on the minimap and the worst part is that both of your opponents are not looking towards you because they are busy fighting your, your teammates. If you just pick one second or two seconds earlier, you would have made two easy kills simply because your opponents are not looking towards you. So there is no molly, the guy could be close. You can start going uh, further. Uh -huh. Yep. Uh -huh. Show it under palace. There is. Nice, well played, well played. It's B, it's B, it's B, it's B, it's B, it's B. It's B. Yeah. No, 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 no. You're coming from short. No, definitely not go. You would have wasted. Just go short. Nice. On your left. Yep, 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 yep. And one bench. Bench. Forest. Yep. Mm -hmm. Imagine how much. First of all, you would not have gotten a kill on short. Imagine how much time you would have spent if you actually went towards under. You can try picking towards under with this smoke. Mm -hmm. Go backwards. Yep, yep, yep. Nice. Try pushing underground. That's a new play. No, 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 no. Not shift. You don't shift here. No. Mm -hmm. Now you can give the call out. There is no one on B. Just stay. Tell them to stack A. On B, no on B. Free versus free. You have the info. They're gonna be pushing towards. Yep. That's what I mean. Almost. Okay, don't push, 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 don't shift, don't shift. So you see how long you shifted? If you didn't shift, you would have been in a better position, you would have killed him. Yeah, that's what I mean. You see? That's what I mean. You're moving instead of you did a good spawn, you killed him. After this game, I asked him a very interesting question. What would you choose? 25,000 rating and 13 average kills or 10,000 rating and 25 average kills? I'd say 25k rating instead. Why? Because the way you get up there is by just adapting to everything and having the knowledge to be able to rank up. So you would be happy with having 25,000 rating but having 12 kills every game? Yeah, I'd be much happier with that than having to be hard stock and then getting a bunch of kills but not being able to do anything about them. We'll think about that a little bit later on. Also, this question I asked Ren in one of my previous videos but it didn't make it into the video but I really need you to hear his answer. I have a question. Yeah. Would you rather have 3000 elo and 14 average kills or 2000 elo and 25 average kills? Oh, give me the 25 average, bro. Exactly, like exactly, exactly. That's the correct answer. <laughs> give it to any Dejesh who think they're hard stuck, they're gonna choose the 3k elo because 3k elo is a high number. The number doesn't matter. If, mm. if, oh, <laughs> if mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. If, yeah. I'm, if I'm playing to that level, bro, I'm climbing though. I've also got the question a lot. Would you rather lose every game but drop 30 or win every game but drop 12? Oh, I'm, I'm, lose, I'm losing lose, every game. Lose, 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 I'm losing lose. every fucking game. No, no worries. On day number 5, I decided to do something more experimental. I decided to duo queue with my student so I can support him on A side while he focuses on connector. And if he dies, he can spectate me doing everything I explained to him so he could understand and analyze everything. He needs to understand that all these plays are very effective and they are not insanely difficult. It's not something supernatural, just basic plays with proper timings and that he can do exact same stuff. But again, like we can't do anything with uh, that in our team. <laughs> The guy gets a Glock, buys armor and gets a Glock and decides to go palace. Like you want somehow to win a game with this. 
But like, I feel like you did pretty good. You found a lot of uh, A kills, you found connector kills. Uh, but again, one uh, important point is that you definitely have improved on um, macro aspect of the game. So positioning, like finding openings with a uh, default algorithms of going pit and uh, staying inside of connector and just proper movement. But the main problem right now, like what I see is you fuff up with the too much unnecessary crouching. You can make those kills, but you just give up a free kill and just by pressing this stupid button, you know? Day number six started with some more theory and explaining the situational awareness, because once again our main problem was the fact that 9 Zox was completely zoned out while playing. After that I showed him how to take mid control, explained when to go connector or short according to the situation on a map and my main point is that he needs to collect information quickly and adjust to it mid round. Okay, I killed apartments, so you know apartments are clear, and you just checked pit, and there was no one in pit, so yeah, exactly what you're doing is you're focusing towards mid area. Teammate gets a kill, and you're just leaving, for no reason, checking apartments, while I literally came back from there with a kill. And you see two of your teammates, in window and in con, just died, and if you were with them, you could have maybe found a kill, you could have saved them, you could have done something. But that is not happening, right? Yeah. You can hear a guy under... Yeah, okay, good. You heard him, definitely. That's that's the improvement. You hear him? I, 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 I... Could you have made this kill? Uh, yeah, if I slowed down my, my fire rate, for sure. Aha. Uh -huh. What's the other option that you can see on your screen right now to make this kill? Going down the steps to get closer for... Um... I'll give you a hint, it's on the left side of your screen. Oh, is it for the weapon that's there? Yep. So your teammate dies, right? And you were still covered by the smoke. You don't have to go exactly here and expose yourself, but you can go down the stairs around this area and just press E on the weapon to pick it up. You don't have to be under the weapon to pick it up. You can come even, I think, here and you can take it with by pressing E and then go at any position. You can hear a guy crossing and you can just spray him down, right? Yeah. Yep. But again, I never expected you, you're just doing like nothing on T side. Like you just you just hold the wall. Meanwhile, like your teammates are fighting, you know, like you need to start adjusting to what's happening on the map. Yeah. That's probably because I'm half half asleep right now. Yeah. <laughs> it's not making it any better. I told him that he should go sleep and then play some games without me. And on the next day we're gonna analyze his demo and I expect to see everything I taught him being used. Day 7, the finish line. We talked a little bit about how important it is to self-analyze all the time if you want to improve in this game, and I gave him Donk as a prime example. Donk said many times that he never watched other people's demos and he just prefers to analyze his game after he makes mistakes. <laughs> It's gonna be more impact if you play two games and analyze them instead of playing 10 games in a row, you know? Yeah. After that we started watching the demo of his game that he played without me. The main issue remained, his inability to receive and adjust to the information. Sound, minimap, kills of his teammates, callouts, all of that he was barely using and analyzing, which led to a very poor decision making. By first armor and the deagle. NICE! Dear Lord, nice, why can't you do that always? You know how to do it, why are you stuck all the time? I don't know, I think I just like overthink the uh, jump for some reason. No. And that's why I just mess it up so much. Oh, you, you, I didn't press anything, why is it... Hello? It just, it just froze for me, I don't know, but I guess you just jumped under? Oh. Okay. Are they pushing you or what the fuck? No, they are pushing you, what? <laughs> Wait, I'm not pressing anything, I'm not pressing... I'm not... What the fuck? What is happening? Is it just doing a frame per minute? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like fr one frame <laughs> per 15 seconds or something. So, I shoot him. Thank you. Very good. You heard you. You heard the guy in the top mid, but okay, okay. At least you survive. You hear him. 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 Okay, thank God. I heard him. I just, don't, I just don't know why I didn't realize that I was rushing. It just turn around. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Nice. Perfect. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Nice. Really good. Really good. Your teammate is dead on a. Second teammate is dead on a. And you take out your revol revolver without the M instead of the M4. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm it's an interesting play. You have the M4, but you decided to take a revolver. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Again. You hear him pushing fully. You're not reacting to the info. 
and he kills your teammate. Mm -hmm. Okay, at least you kill him, thank god. You kill this guy, perfect. Nice! Should be making that every round, actually. Mm -hmm. So you are definitely aware. Okay, your teammate is fighting, so you're trying to... Mm -hmm. Nice. Your teammate is fighting, and you're kind of staying there. You, like, at least try to go towards him, but okay. Coming palace again. Three nades in ramp. So you should be definitely expecting somewhere close. No sound, perfect. I'm kind of a little bit way too long towards uh, towards you're so insanely like long but it's okay I guess as you can see you kill him yeah but you also could have killed him from the closer position nice pretty good nice perfect that's what I want to see and as I have said you have in this demo played better than in the first one we watched but again your adaptation to the what's happening on the map is insanely slow that's the main thing that you need to work on right now many times you're just going somewhere without even thinking what you're gonna do you need to work on your thinking process start thinking faster adapt faster and definitely start adapting to the situation when your teammates are fighting and you're just looking at walls. Yeah, that makes a lot more sense. It's such an eye-opener. I feel kind of dumb because it's like, it's such simple stuff that I could be working on and I just haven't been able to because I just haven't been opened about it. I told him all my final conclusions and I wanted to hear his feedback. So just overall, I feel like just from like the aim practice alone, I feel more confident when I'm peeking for sure. I can control my recoil a lot better than I used to be. I feel a lot more confident when I'm playing and not so scared as you remember yeah. how I was when I first played. Mm -hmm. I was too scared to peek anything. I think that was definitely one of the biggest things that I've definitely overcome. Mm -hmm. You pushed me more towards where it's, I need to start playing like key parts and do specific things of like going to pit and then going to Nico and then jumping up, checking, 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 checking. And then it's just an eye opener. It's such simple stuff that I could have been doing and I just wasn't doing. Mm -hmm. And it's definitely helped me a lot. So yeah, I would say definitely like just the muscle memory of what I should be doing for everything. And then the aiming, of course. And you've opened my ears a lot too where it comes to certain sound cues. I've been trying to learn some certain sound cues of what sounds like what and what is where and whatever, like so on. Yeah. I just feel like I everything has been improved for sure. And it definitely motivates me to play more CS for sure. After I heard what he said, I became happy that it wasn't a waste of time. I tried my best emotionally, mentally and physically by waking up super early every day to be there for him and I gave him everything I had in me to make sure that those coaching sessions would be as effective as possible. Everything else is on him. His journey as a player only begins and if I helped him even a little bit I'm gonna be very happy. Thanks a lot for watching this video, I might start doing that stuff more often even though it was exhausting as hell. Make sure to subscribe to this channel and also to my kick channel where I stream almost every day. God bless you, I'm out.